I hope you got your wallets open because the steam winter sale has started. And uh, these are the best deals, according to Kotaku, who uh, cobbled this list together. Uh, it's not truly the holidays until Gabe Newell flips the switch over at Valve HQ that activates the digital storefront's annual winter sale. This year, the sale runs from today until January 5th. Uh, to help you get uh, to help you take advantage of this massive sale, uh, they, we've dug through the Steam to find 30 deals uh, worth checking out. And, and to help you all, the Steam Deck owners out there, I've split the list up into two sections. Steam Deck, Verified Games, and everything else. A reminder, uh, who is this, by the way? Let me mention their name. Uh, Zach Swison over at uh, Kotaku. So this is his list. Uh, and to help you, uh, also a reminder, just because the game isn't verified for working on the Steam Deck, Steam Deck doesn't mean uh, it won't play well. It just means you should do a little bit of research to see how it runs or if it works at all. Do your due diligence. And with that said, let's get on with the list here. Here are some of the best Steam, uh, Steam Deck verified games on sale currently right now until January 5th, was it? Yes, January 5th. Uh, Tales of Arise, a $60 game, very good game, down to $24. Metro Exodus, just seven and a half bucks. Normally it's $30. Hades, another good one. Another, uh, it's like a roguelike, if I recall correctly. Hades is uh, $12.50, down from $25. Generation Zero is a $5. Spyro, Reignited Trilogy is at $14. Uh, God of War is $30. Days Gone is uh, $17.50. Uh, the Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition and Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition is $22. And that's a bundle. Normally it's $85. Overcooked 2 is $6.24. The Witcher Complete The Witcher 3 Complete Edition is $10. And that also comes with the uh, a new patch that upgrades it, patch 4.0, that kind of upgrades it and gives it a quality of life update uh, to uh, kind of keep it current. We, I didn't even expect this. I didn't even expect it at all. And I installed a patch on my on my Steam uh, just uh, two days ago, and it still plays well. It still looks good. The quality the quality of life improvements in The Witcher 3 are just phenomenal. But I gotta, I gotta, I'm gotta, I gotta confess. <laughs> I gotta confess. I have yet to play and beat The Witcher 2, let alone 3. I know, I know, I know. I'll, I'll get to them. What, what took me so long, and I'll, 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 I'll cop to it. What took me so long is I had, remember the 1050 I had in this system, the, G, the GeForce 1050 Ti? <sighs> that thing is so limiting. And even though it could run The Witcher 2 and The Witcher 3 decently enough to play, <sighs> I was getting a lot of crashes. And that kind of turned me off. But it's not a lot. This system now that I've rebuilt, it's a lot more stable. So maybe... Hopefully, with my four-day weekend going on right now, um, I'll get to some uh, get some Witcher time in. <laughs> I, I'm I'm toying with the idea, okay, and I just want to mention this in passing because, you know, I'm 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 toying with the idea. I was thinking about doing a live stream of the horribly wretched and laptastic. Bionic Commando from the reboot from 2000s where I was thinking about just doing a live stream of that. It's just hilarious. Yeah. And the reason why I'm thinking about doing this is because I was watching uh, Game Rink's video where they talk about some of the worst plot twists in gaming and uh, yeah, Bionic Commando was on the list. <laughs> and I was thinking about doing a live stream of that. Let me know what you think in the comment section if you want to see that or not. Um, you got Elden Ring at 42 down from 60 And uh, Disco Elysium is $10, uh, which is $30 off. It's usually 40 And uh, here's a bunch of other games that aren't verified for the Steam Deck but are still nicely discounted and worth checking out. Uh, Titanfall 2 is 480 
Guardians of the Galaxy is $21. Cyberpunk 2077 is down to $30. Elite Dangerous is $7.5. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, just under $5 bucks at $4.80. Kingdom Come Deliverance, $7.50. Deep Rock Galactic is $10. Anno, $1,800 is $20. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is $19.80. Not a bad deal there. New World is $20. Dragon Ball Z uh, Kakarot is 15 immortals phoenix rising it's it's a fun game it's a really good game 15 dollars down from 60 octopath octopath traveler is only 24 and you got octopath traveler 2 coming out planet zoo is a 11 11 24 civilization uh, 6 is six dollars code vein is another good game i bought that um i think about two or three weeks ago for 12 dollars, and now it's down to nine and uh, For the King is $5. And also there are eight, count them, eight Far Cry games. One through five, Primal, New Dawn, and Blood Dragon. The entire uh, bundle, 50 bucks. Normally it would run you $214. Um, and I also want to mention briefly here as I transition over. Oh, sorry about that. Um, Valkyrie Profile Linus which was um, delayed until Christmas, has been released. It got released. I was at home. I get home at around 11 o'clock at night, midnight. Um, it went live on the PS4 network um, Thursday, Thursday night, or early, early Thursday night after midnight on Eastern time. And uh, it is less than $20. And it's not on sale, but still. $20, not bad at all for Valkyrie Profile Lenith. Uh, that is a new modern port from the PSP, and that is out right now. So, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely a lot of good games going on with the Steam sale. Check it out, and let me know what you think in the description, in the comment section below. Ring the bell and subscribe. And if you can, head over to your Patreon. For $3, you can help support this channel and curate it and keep it going. Tegonzo, see you in the next one.